Good question. Let's talk more about these ads with our brand power team. Joining us now is media relations expert and the founder of Allison May Public Relations, our good friend Allison Maloney, a contributor at Newsmax. Also back with us, marketing and branding expert, Dr. John Tantillo, his hat and his bow tie. He's an applied research psychologist. Allison, John, great to see you both. Great to be here. All right. Yeah. So the DNC has spent the last two nights building up Joe Biden's experience, his character as an average Joe, a family man. But one of the biggest hurdles Biden has had to try and overcome this entire election has been these gaffes, the senior moments, as some people call them. Is this an effective ad, Allison? It is, because this is what everyone's talking about. We typically see these attack ads later on in the campaign, not for another month or so. But this is what President Trump and the Republican Party is saying. Is he fit to be the president? And what struck me with this ad, John, it wasn't the gas. It was the energy or lack thereof energy when you compare him from 2015 to 2020. So this, I believe, will be effective because this is what everyone's talking about. And this shows it right there. John, what do you think? Well, I also think it delineates the difference between what the president has accomplished and what uh, Biden and uh, Obama didn't. Uh, that was towards the end. And all of this uh, ganashing of the teeth where people are saying, oh, but what if Biden has a good moment? It's going to take away from the effectiveness. This is poppycock. Uh, this does not happen in the real world. You can't, with people who have uh, uh, problems with uh, dementia, they don't suddenly recover. So I don't see this happening anytime soon. And this is obviously the target that the Trump campaign wants to continue to hit, and one that I think a lot of people, you know, Trump voters, this is really an idea. This, Allison, is really to, to get the base out there, right? Yeah, it really is. And I, I think moving forward with his ads, again, we're all talking about Biden. Is he moderate or is he progressive? And I think moving forward, we may see some more ads from the president talking about that, because as we've seen, the Democratic Party is divided. So now it really comes down to how does he get those moderate Democrats if Biden is saying, well, I'm more on the progressive side and, and getting those independents? Okay, well, let's talk about another ad that uh, got a lot of attention yesterday. Also caught the attention of our president, and it's for Maryland congressional candidate Kimberly Klasick, who's running in Baltimore, Baltimore, a you know a very Democratic seat. But she's not afraid of that, and she's putting the color red to use and her high heels to use. Here's the message. You care about Black Lives? The people that run Baltimore don't. I can prove it. Walk with me. They don't want you to see this. I'm Kim Klasick. This is Baltimore. The real Baltimore. This is the reality for black people every single day. Crumbling infrastructure, abandoned homes, poverty, and crime. Baltimore has been run by the Democrat Party for 53 years. Democrats think black people are stupid. They think they can control us forever. That we won't demand better and that we'll keep voting for them forever. Despite what they've done to our families and our community. Are they right? All right, so that's a powerful ad. And as I mentioned, it got the attention of President Trump. Allison, what makes this ad so powerful? This is very different than your typical political ad. She's not only talking, but she's inviting people to walk with her, as she mentioned in the beginning. So she's showing people the video is telling it all. She's saying, look, this is what's happening to our district. Look at these rundown buildings. And then she goes and interviews people who have lost loved ones because of the crime. So this is something that when you watch it, you want to keep watching it because what is she going to show you next? Mm -hmm. It's not your typical ad where she's just shaking hands and knocking on doors. The other thing, too, John, about this ad, if you've been following Klasik's campaign, as we have, she is walking the walk and talking the talk in the ad. But on social media, she's constantly posting pictures about doing you know, job fairs in, these, in, in her congressional district, being out in the community, picking up trash, things like that. So it's one of those instances where you have a you know, campaign ad that ties in with the ongoing episodic daily routines of a candidate, and it works very well. Yeah, two things in advertising. Uh, number one it's got to play loud, which means it's got to resonate. It's got to break through the clutter. And number two, it's got to be the truth well told. Those two things you see in this ad, it's a great ad. The only thing I would say is they got to put this uh, with tactics. They got to get their boat out. Because yeah. without getting their boat out, this ad 
will not be effective. Well, it's a long shot run, and that's part of the point here. Um, you know, this is Elijah Cummings' old district, an entrenched Democratic district, but Kimberly trying to change the, you know, the status quo there and using a status quo changing ad to do so. Allison, John, thanks so much. Great to see you. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, stay with us.